Hey there Libra, welcome to Healing Guides Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. And this is for whenever you happen to, to see this reading. is for your money, your career, your finance. Okay, let's get right into it. What do you need to know about your career or business? Let's see. We have Ace of Winter. And that will be Swords. So it will be implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start but keep going the challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better wow so if you're starting something new here keep up with it this might be a little cold right now but it's gonna warm up okay what can you do to move forward Three of summer, and summer is cups. Hummingbird, you have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth, now, birth, sorry, birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. You may meet someone at a um, one of these exciting events here. Yeah, there might be some kind of, if you get invited anywhere, Take up the invitation. It might help your career and your business. Okay. How can you be more financially successful? And we have the Prince of Winter. So this would be like the Knight of Swords. So uh, this would be Aquarius, Gemini, um, yeah, or Libra. So this could be you too. So how can you be more financially successful? Okay. Thoroughbred Horse. Get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. Okay, so something... Okay, now we're waiting here. You might have been like standing still almost. And <clears throat> now it'll show a moment. And of course with the, like, the Knight of Swords, that's a, a fast moment. This is um, decisive, focused, driven, impulsive. I'm liking that. Okay, where or what do you need to improve? Prince of Autumn. Now, Autumn is... Look at these pentacles. I gotta get used to these. I'm not really too familiar. Okay, trustworthy, dedicated, protective, funny. Seahorse. Now, seahorse mate for life. I always find that fascinating. And it says, it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have the plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. Now, that makes sense because with the Prince of Autumn, that would stand for the Knight of Pentacles. And Knight of Pentacles is maybe the slowest move in Knight. But they make sure they plan things out. They don't move too hastily. So, just take... Just make sure things are correct. It's really weird because you have how can you be more financially successful? And it's telling you to jump on it, to go. And then this one is where or, or what do you need to improve? And this is <laughs> take your times here. You're at odds here. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a two on one of these things <laughs> in decision because that's what it seems like. Okay, what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? Ten of summer. So this is a ten of cups. Ah, Prairie Dog. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family or close friends. Congratulations made in order or on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. Now, this could be for people that have their um, family business or it could be that you're, the people you work with you consider family. So it might be showing appreciation for the people that you're working with. But this is Ten of Cups. That means a lot of happiness coming in for you guys. What is coming in the near future? And we have the Nine of Autumn. So Nine of, Pente Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Um, rag Dog. Do um, rag Dog. Rag Doll Cat. I cannot speak today. Wow. <laughs> Your success has brought you financial success 
security and the reward for much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. All right. Yes, yeah, so this also means you know you look you're doing good in your finances. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Autumn. Okay, now what or whom is helping you? And we have eight of spring. So that would be the eight of wands. That's like going quickly, moving fast, and then here we have B. It says you've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. So a lot of opportunities are coming your way. That's what's helping you. You're gonna have a lot of choices. And the B is so industrial, so it feels like you're gonna you're just gonna have help. This is a very helpful card. Also, um like the eight of wands, it's um communication, but things moving quickly, fast moving your potential outcome and we have Queen of Winter which would be the swords Queen of Swords which could be your energy Libra or could be Aquarius or Gemini experience self-sufficient brilliant and funny the leopard all your life experience have prepared you for this moment of truth it's time to declutter your home clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness yeah so cutting people out and cutting things out that you don't belong that don't belong anymore but it looks like you're just gonna be doing really well here you're the queen Stay your truth. Okay, on the bottom deck we have two of autumn. I knew we had to get a um a card for decision here with these two guys over here. So two of autumn will be the pentacles. So Absinian cat. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs or many responsibilities. Well, we got this here. Too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. Wow. That is amazing, huh? Okay, so now let me throw some cards on here and see if we get any extra information here. And then with the Ace of Winter, which is Ace of Swords. What else will we get here? We have Seven of Cups. Yeah, you know, many choices, many decisions. But you're going to cut, again, this is like repeating this here with the Queen of Winter because Ace of, of Swords is cutting things out. And also, something new happening. So you're going to get many choices. You're going to make a decision here. And you're going to, it's, it feels like you're going to cut out all those things that you don't need. And you're going to, um, just, just leave there what's important. But there, it's like you have to, um, how they say, trim the fat. You might have to trim the fat in your career, your business, or, you know, what's not helping you either individually or if you have a business owner, if there's people that are slacking, you might have to just cut them out. Um, because they're draining on your expenses. Okay. Now, the three of summer. Let's see what's going on with the three of summer. Three of cups. So we have, oh, with the two of cups. So we have the two of cups, which is a partnership. And this is what can you do to move forward? Now, this is, you might meet someone that is going to help you in a partnership because this is going somewhere, meeting people, going, getting out there. And this is Two of Cups. Now, this could be a love partnership, but this also could be a partnership in business. And there's like a celebration. You got the Two and the Three of Cups here. I'm liking that. Okay, what about this Prince of Winter? How can you be more financially successful? We got the Prince of Winter moving quickly. And we have the Queen of Coins. Now the Queen of Coins is a Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Coins is into the material world, very um, stable, reliable. There's money here. 
So it looks like by you going quickly towards something, so you might, some of you might have to go quickly, some of you might have to take your time here. Um, but with the Queen of Pentacles being with the Princess Swords, it's like so you might have to talk to someone about a situation. Uh, maybe inquiring. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, you might have to even discuss helping someone if they like work for you. Like almost taking them under your wing is what I'm feeling. Because you're able to be abundant. And you also have, look at this, the um, third eye is. You know how to handle this, I'm, I'm getting told. That you, you would know how to talk to the person to help enlighten them. To maybe even speed up. It might be the fact that you have to have someone move a little quicker. Or it could be that maybe you, in certain circumstances in your career, your business, there are certain areas that you have to be a little quicker at. I mean, some other areas you have to slow down. Maybe that's where the balance is with the Two of Wands here. I mean, Two of Pentacles. Okay, autumn. This is very confusing with the um, Autumn stuff. I really don't know it that well. So the Two of Pentacles is like balancing things out. So that's okay. Now these now these two princes make sense. So for some things, th there's not there's some things you have to go quicker at. Some things you have to jump on, and some things you gotta slow down. Okay, let's see what we get for the Prince of Autumn, which is the Prince of Pentacles here. And we have the Three of Wands. See now this this goes together with this it's like waiting that there's something that you did put in motion there's something that you started and you're waiting for something to happen here you're waiting for the right timing so there might be something that you have to go towards but you can't go towards until you know it's the right and this is almost like this is in the distance but it's coming in and you know it's coming in and that's what where you need to improve it's timing, it feels like, for some of you. Timing and being patient with some things. Some things you have to really move quicker, and some things you have, just have to have the patience because they're going to happen when they're going to happen. Okay. And the th Ten of summer, Summers here. So Ten of Cups. For what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? And we have Judgment. So there might be something coming back around that's going to make you really happy. You also, um, I'm feeling too, it's like the appreciation of family. With the judgment, maybe someone also is being a little bit um, too harsh on someone. If this is like your business and maybe in, even if it's your family business, maybe there's one person or, or someone that you're a little too critical of. Or... Someone could be kind of critical of you at some times. That's what it feels like. It feels like someone's judging someone a little too harshly at times. But if you don't, you'll be, you know, there's going to be a lot. There's still ten, 10 of cups means a lot of happiness anyway. So if you just, it almost feels like more communication, um, especially with family members, if you work with a, in a family business. A lot of times when you're in business, you spend most of the time with the, these people that you work with. So they are like another family. Okay, now, what is coming in the near future? We have Nine of Autumn, which is awesome because that's Nine of Pentacles. So let's get clarity on this. And we have Seven of Coins. Yeah, waiting for this harvest to come in. You put in the work and it's coming in. You're just waiting for it at this point. And it's coming. So say you're waiting for this. This is what's coming in the near future. You're waiting a little bit. You might have to wait a little longer maybe. Especially with this three of wands here, but it's coming. And what a home is helping you when we have the eight of spring, the eight of wands. Six of coins, yeah, money's coming in. It's gonna come in quickly and it's gonna be even balance. There's this is a scale of balance. This is the even give and take. And this is what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a lot of different things, wonderful opportunities. And you might be getting um whatever you're doing, you might become having multiple sources of income. So even if you're like starting a business, while you're starting a business, there's other areas of your life that is bringing an income that's helping you stay afloat until your business really takes off. 
Okay, now your potential outcome, we have this Queen of Winter. Let's see. The Tower. So something shocking is going to happen here. Now, with the Queen of Winter, this is, is going to shock people if you cut out people that are not you know, good for you or good for your business. This is going to be a shocking thing. There's going to be change, though. Definitely with the tower, there's going to be change. And every time there's change, something good comes in. I'm really liking this. It's, it's, it's bringing in a whole new, like, I want, I want to say like an arena. The potential is really good here. So declutter and and while you taking changing things, you might be sh changing things at your business, or or this might be a shock to you if you work for a company and they start cutting the fat, and you know, it's, but it's going to make everything work better. And the bottom we have page of cups. So it looks like someone's coming in here with an offer to you. It could be be apology. Now this also could be in love. You might even meet. Might, this might even be like a business. Um, meeting or something where you meet your true love or something i don't know how this is going to play out different for different people but this is an opportunity coming in someone offering you something and it could also be an apology but i'm liking this for you guys so this is um scorpio cancer pisces very nice all right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope you like this reading. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.